all right guys so look first off again twitch say hi to youtube youtube say hi to twitch you know what time it is let's go shout out to elmer fudd over here just getting um uh, what he just purchased two items i uh, appreciate you bro he just bought some a hey, shout out to you shoot he just bought some off the candy merch site shop and actually we got a 15 percent code right now actually using winners because this is the video that we won we won bro we won the match the match is over we won we won the match oh it's because i'm over here right now that's why yeah we won we won the match guys so i played paulina shuvalova okay very strong right here Super strong in the I am not a GM speed chess championship, right? Let me pull it up. Let me try to find the news real quick, right? Uh, something like the news thing. This one, there you go, right here. Look at this, right? We about to read the article. Y'all ready? Here it go, here it go. Jeez. All right, so look, here it is. So Canty upset the seed, right? Paulina in the quarterfinals. Here's the link. I'm actually going to link it to y'all right now. Quantum, send me a message to say link in description. So I can put the same link that I'm putting in Twitch into the description on uh, on YouTube for the people that read this. So I upset this to top seed Paulina, right? Uh, of course, in the quarterfinals um, presented by Landover. And my next match is against Trent on the 24th, which is Friday. So you can read the whole article here. They got talking about the games. Now we're going to do our own commentary, but you can actually everything about all the games. They got clips in here. This is a very nice article, bro. This is a very nice article. But look, look at the bracket. This is what I wanted to show y'all. Do y'all see anything? Do you notice your boy? Do you see me anywhere? Mama, can you see me on TV? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I made it, bro. I'm in, I'm in the... This is the semis. Yeah, I'm in the semis. So, yeah, Eric Rosen doing his thing thing. And uh, I got to play Trent and then, you know, see what happens. I'm going to go crazy. And they going Bobby Fisher for us and say, yeah. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is it. I made it through. I made it through. I won by two points. Now, in this video, we're actually going to check games here. Uh, of course, we're not going to check all of them, but very critical games, probably to five minutes and some three, uh, three, ones, three, three minute games as well. Uh, so we'll see. Can't you have an interesting question? Have you trained the speed of your brain? Or are you trying to say, to, uh, you, huh? you know, uh, train the speed of your brain. In fact, I think you just keep working, keep working and uh, maybe you can't trade the speed of your brain. Uh, maybe being around people that do things faster too as well. Processing being faster, but not something that I'm like, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to train the speed of my brain. Bruh. Right. You know, okay, here we go. And here's a link. Here's a Twitch link. This Twitch link is from Quantum Knights. Quantum Knights was able to clip this right here so i remember this clip i remember this right here bro i remember this shout out to him yo game time nails bro shout out to you bro he just spent 125 in the store my man just bought a bag he just got a bag from the store bro he just got a bag from the store bro shout out to him bro he just copped a bag bro what did you get what did you get bro i don't even i don't even spend that much in my store like I didn't even, I mean, I have, but like, dang, bro, what you buy, bro? Dang, man, that man went crazy. I appreciate it, bro. That's love. That's love for real. Shout out to him. She, she went, he snapped. He about to be fly, bro. He got the hoodie, beanie, bucket, and a snap, bro. He about to be so fly. Hoodie, beanie, the bucket, and the snap. C-O-E, sheesh, it's everywhere. Y'all can see me repping it right here in the video. The same hat. That's why I got more coming because I'm not about to wear the same hat every day. Like y'all kidding me? I'm not doing that. So we we are gonna have uh, we got more COE hats coming in the mail right now. Okay, so this was clipped by uh, this was clipped by Quantum Knights. So let's see what it says from the beginning. Sorry, you know what? Let me turn it up so y'all can hear that. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Sorry, let me do this. This is clipped by Quantum Knights. This is sometime in the match. So we had 10-10. So, but we're going to look at other games, but we're at 10 10. Yeah, we he dripped out, right? He's going to be dripped out. He's going to be dripped out. Yeah, I'm getting the joggers probably. I'm, I'm literally about to get the joggers like today, bro, because everybody keeps saying something about the joggers. So I'm like, all right, bro, I'm about to cop them and then wear them to the gym. Probably get a few few pairs of the joggers. Going to be dripped out. Yeah, and some tanks. Yeah, the tanks too. I need some more, probably different colors. A lot. My man's got to walk around, calculate the mean of life through his. <laughs> Calculate the meaning of life through his outfit. Bruh. <laughs> Yo, that's funny, bro. Oh, man. COE, right? Like, honestly, though, with the hat on, I know that I have the COE hat on. 
so I have to calculate more. You know what I mean? That's why I wore it today. Like this, this was all strategic. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wore the hat, and I was like, I gotta calculate. And people gonna see the hat and know. And I saw y'all in the chat when I watched the vibe. Shout out to y'all, right? When y'all was saying calculation over everything, I saw y'all doing it. Oh, your ears. That probably did hurt. But you know what? This yeah, ain't gonna hurt. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't go Queenie Four there. You gotta go Queenie Four. Oh, wait, there's man on H1. It's checkmate. It's checkmate. And you can see the different levels of emotion there as Queen H1. Let's run that back real quick. Right. So this is what happened, right? I remember, I remember when this happened. I was tilting slightly. I was definitely tilting. I almost hung my queen there. And I was like, bro, the, she can just take my queen. I almost made a move where she was just literally going to take my queen. And I was like, I need to chill. So I just kind of reset, but I was losing. Like I'd left away. This is already after the fact. And I'm like, well, okay. Really keep the queen at bay. But I still yeah, won yeah, the game. Yeah. Oh man. It doesn't go queen e4 there. You gotta go queen e4. Oh wait, there's man on h1. It's checkmate. <laughs> it's checkmate. <laughs> and you can see the different I remember levels when I of happened. emotion there as I queen remember h1. That. Canty takes the lead. I remember let's that. Let's point out, I mean, just how dirty, critical bro. things are getting. Jeffrey, look at the time. The match clock, five minutes and ticking down. A one point lead could mean everything. Oh, yeah. Very nice clip. Very nice clip from my guy. This is the merch side again. Kating, uh, shop Kating, merch .com. That was uh, very nice from um, from my guy. This is Paulina's um, profile. Super strong. I mean, absolutely dumb strong, bro. Bullet and Blitz. I mean, I honestly think they should be higher. Her, her feed rate, 2498, something mm -hmm. like that. I mean, she's been over 2,500. Like, bro, she is ridiculous. I mean, ridiculously strong. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, I can't even say it more than that. Like, she's really good, bro. Really freaking good. So, uh, in here, and this is a game one. So, this is game one. She hits me with, uh, in fact, I'm going to actually put on the analysis. And we're going to go through these games literally right now. So, I'm going to learn, and you're going to learn as well. So, I'm going to put the game review on. So we can figure out. Look how accurate she was, bro. Look at that. Bruh. Boy, she was very accurate. And she won this game, too. Yeah, she won the first game, right? But actually, I messed up, right? So let's see what happened. D5. So I went 97. I know it's a mistake right here. I just wanted to do something different to take her out. Because I know Bishop D7 is the move. Knight C6 is the move. I just didn't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't want to do it, bro. I just didn't want to. Like... And sometimes you go through that. You want to be a little tricky. You want to mix it up. And that's exactly what it is. Yeah, I changed it up. I changed it up later. I changed it up later. Kind of. But I was definitely like, eh, let's see what she does. Because I've never done 97 in my life. Knight F8, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Bruh. I was like, I want to put the bishop here, but I also want to play 96. I hope she doesn't play H3. That's exactly what was my thought. And she didn't. So I'm like, bad. So like, this is before. Oh my goodness. So I take e6 and then put the knights here. This is just so bad. Like, how many times did this knight move, bro? I went to c6 to, or like, it, I'm confusing the knights. Like, it's really bad. It's really bad, right? So, you know, it's really bad, bro. <laughs> it's really bad. So, okay, we, we finally get a position. Castles. Queen b6, right? I'm finally feeling better. Sheesh. I mean, this was a bad game, man. I can say this because you won the match. Yeah, absolutely. I can say this because I won the match. I won the match so I can go back and look at this and say that this right here, I will never do again. This is 100% premium, Cambodian, natural, garbage. garbage. Don't do that again. That's not a move. Send a stretcher to his address. We have it on file. This is terrible. This is very bad. Don't ever play this this way. But okay, it is what it is. But oh, I got two great moves here. Wow. Engine be loving that stuff. But boy, I got a lot of, a lot of other stuff in there. This pretty garbo, pretty garbo. But let's let's see the rest of it, right? So bishop c3, yeah, lesson learned. Absolutely, these are learn like you learn, right? It's about the learning aspect of these too. So nice that you know you can learn, and this is a not only is it nice competition, healthy competition, but you also learn a lot. You also learn learn a lot. I made a poll in Eric Rosen's chat. Who will Eric face in the Paulina? Over sixty percent voted for Paulina. I mean, hey, you know, look. Hey, uh, people can only go by what they see up front, which is 100%. I understand that, you know, but I do a lot of work behind the scenes that uh, only a few people know. Really? I mean, I just work, bro. I just work. I literally just work. I literally just work. That's all I'm going to say. After H4, F6. I play F6, which is a nice move here. Pawn takes, knight takes F6. 
And I thought I have to take it to night because night H5. Night H5 is a, oops, I put up like the code, the, the, the code thing that came up. I, you know how you, <laughs> bro, that's so funny when you be like clicking and like the code, I don't, I don't do none of that. So how the coders out there, y'all know exactly what that was. I don't do none of that. It came out hard, but I was telling everyone in work, I was never, oh yeah, I saw, I saw you in the chat, Quantum. Shout out to Quantum, bro. Quantum was repping hard. Shout out to you if you was in the chess.com chat. Shout out to you. If you was in the chess.com chat, you know what I mean? Rooting for me, bro. Cause I saw y'all. I just I watched the whole vibe bot back. So, you know, I got some names which I'm not gonna mention. That's like, bro, you know, I appreciate the hate. I appreciate the haters that was saying all this crazy stuff. Like, you know, like I'm not gonna win or a game or and stupid stuff like that. But somebody said, like, you know, is Kenty gonna win a game? Like he probably, I don't think he said anything else the rest of the the rest of the freaking show. He didn't say nothing else. But you know, it uh it happens. Okay, so knight takes f6, uh knight f4. And then here I knew I was gonna have to second exchange. I already had this in mind. I had this in mind. Knight takes, takes, queen takes, takes, beautiful, and knight h5, which was the best move, which is nice. Knight takes g3. Right. Um okay, and then queen h3. I had to take. Oh, that was not right. So I'm in a fork. So what was the? Oh, it was knight f four here. This is why you analyze your games. Oh my goodness! Why didn't I see that? I thought that's interesting. Again, I was moving too fast, which is one thing. Uh, Hambo, big Hambo in the Lambo. Shout out to him. Hambo was talking about. I was moving too fast, which I do see that now, especially looking back at the vod looking back at certain positions i was like yeah i was moving way too fast there but uh this is a another example knight f4 i'm sure that's the move now but i actually did rook takes e6 thinking i had compensation here here and here because i'm able to play knight g3 due to the pin but i do have to deal with the check also with her having 50 seconds i thought it was the right call she's low rook takes e6 Quick move, but I, I should have took my time and played Knight F4 here, which I started to take my time later in the match. The streamers have such an edge in these events because of all the fans. I mean, honestly, yeah, you can have 100 million fans, but still be 100% Garbo. Bro, you got to perform. Fans do not help you perform, bro. They are not telling you moves. Bro. You have to do that on your own, my guy. Like, streamers have such an edge. You have law. Get this, man. You know what? This is a family channel. This is a family channel. What's up, Pro Sounds? Thanks for the follow. Okay, Knight F4. If anything we make we make them worse. <laughs> Nine and four, Rose Downs. Yeah, I think it's Nine and four though. I think it's Nine and four, right? Oh wait, 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 wait no, no, no. I, I want to look at my best move. Sorry, my best move. Queen H three. And uh, what did I play? I played Rook takes. But what is the best? It's Nine and four. Okay, let me see. Can I see the line? I'm most interested in the line. Knight takes. Right, I'm taking on D four. Oh, you take first. Uh, does it matter? I guess. I mean, black's slightly better because of the H, but you could probably play H5. But I can, I mean, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, pushing, but it's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. In fact, actually, no, bro. It actually makes you, uh, it makes it harder to win. It's more pressure. Think about that. People have a, uh, people rooting for you. So if you lose, that's rough. That's hard, man. You're letting a lot of people down. You know what I mean? That's actually the other way around, Q Gator. So I don't know what you're talking about. Sound crazy, but that's okay though. It's a lot more pressure, bro. It really is. Come on, man. We're not 100 percent useless. That's right, Doctor Giuliano. In fact, a lot. Of, I, I feel the energy. I feel the energy. Oh, you know how? What spam this flower uh, to give Hikaru power? If you know that, you're a real like you really be in chats. Shout out to you if you actually know that. If you actually know that, spam this flower to give Hikaru power. We only, we actually have to do that tomorrow. Cause he got to play so shout out to my guy shout out to my guy because he got to play tomorrow so um uh, okay so what what happened wait this was not the game this was not the game there it is right it's in the chat you know what i mean it's a little pocket i mean it's on demand you know it's on demand bro it's a double-edged sword that's true that's true okay so i took on e6 though takes and h8 and she went queen e3, beautiful move. She stopped knight g3. She defended this, but this is hanging and this is hanging. I mean, I had so many threats. Like, back here, this is why I went for it. Because practically speaking, if, I mean, yeah, this is check. But 
Okay, I have to get out the way, but this is hanging, this is hanging, knight g3 is a pin, and I also get the exchange back, and h4 is hanging. I have conversation, like, practically, there's a lot I can do, but it probably is not the best. Obviously, engine's like, yo, you, you're losing, but obviously, it's the engine, like, come on now, the engine will crush all of us, right? So, you're always losing to the engine, but uh, even in positions where oh, it's equal, but it don't be nowhere near equal, right? You know, it's just the engine for you, right? So, you have to take it with a grain of salt. That boy can't see what's up. What up, man? What's good? Yeah, yeah. So here, this happens. Um, G3 was a good move. Yeah, that was a good move. Queen B4 is best. I remember. I remember. That's crazy. Queen B4 was right. That's interesting. Yeah, because I, I wanted to take this. I also wanted this, but I don't know. I played B5. Reason for this was Queen takes B2, ran into Rook B1. I didn't want to give up the file. So I played B5. Rook H1, which was a blunder. Queen takes B2 is a blunder, so uh, I had a better move. Okay, so let's see what it was. Maybe it was here. I remember Jeffrey pointing this out. How much time I have here? A minute 10. Yeah, this is a good critique of myself here. Especially for Friday going to play Lawrence Trent. This is a good critique. I have a minute 10, and I play Queen B2 after... I mean, I, had, I thought about it, though. 10, 11 seconds? Just 17, though. Still, if I would have thought another 20, I mean, I, I, would be, I wouldn't be too far up on time. I still would be up, though. See the best move? Oh, sorry. Not her. Not this move. He takes B2. What's the best? It was Mr. D4, yeah. Okay, so I was, uh, I didn't like Queen E7, honestly. You take King H3 and Bishop C5. Ooh, spicy. Where did it? Did. There are two. I didn't. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, hey, look, man. Look, I appreciate it. I, thanks for being honest. But, you know, look, all I'd be doing is working, man. And uh, it's, it's finally paying off, right? But guess what? You know, just because we got the dub doesn't mean we stop working. We celebrate here. You know, shout out to the people that supported. That was nice. We got the dub. We took down the number one seat. You know, I'm out here flexing, like, oh, let's go, like, real hard flex. You know what I mean? Like, let's go. But guess what? I'm back to work. Like, nothing happened. Like, literally nothing happened. I got another match on Friday, and I have more work to do. It's the, the work is not finished. Eric Bros are waiting on the final. So I got work to do, bro. Got work to do. So let's go back. Right, right, right. What's what happened here? This was a uh, Rook H1. I go takes. This was bad. It was bad. It was a bad move. Queen V2, congratulations. Thanks, Dante. I thought this would work. Ricky 2 was beautiful. That was a good move. I ain't gonna lie. That was good. Queen F6 had to come back to the crib all there. Queen e5. Oh, this was a so this was a, a legit mouse slip. I was gonna play d4 and just like okay, I got a little compensation. Uh, hopefully, like because you can just go like queen e4, which I saw that, but then I was gonna go queen g5 afterwards because now I can go knight f4. And also with her time situation, her time was like she had nine seconds, right? I was gonna play d4 and everything was gonna be fine. And I'm like, oh shoot, I'm about to win the first game, and the momentum shifts literally because I win the first game. Momentum is literally getting the first game is very important. So you get the first game. That's a lot of momentum shift. There's a lot of, you know, confidence, icebreaker, this and that. So I play Queen E5 and I'm like mouth slip and I'm like, bro, are you kidding me? I was like, bro, are you kidding me? Because this is just blundering like the piece. So I'm lost. I'm literally lost. And she has eight seconds and one second increment and I lose the game and I'm sitting here molding. And I'm I'm so mad, bro. I'm like, bro, all right, all right. First game over. So I'm like, bro, I come out the gate swinging. The next game, boy, I was so mad, bro. But is this the? Oh, is this archive here? This one. So is this game? We put a check mark by it. So that'll help me remember where I'm at. Okay. So this was the second game. All right. So, shout out to Jar Jar Binks London, my favorite London, Joe Bob in London, um, one of my favorite openings. And I score very, very well with this opening. So, I'm, I'm hitting, you know, I do this. And I, I play this position many different, okay, not many, but I either play pawn takes or knight f3. It's always good to have flexibility in your repertoire. Let me say that again. It's always good to have flexibility in your repertoire. So, of course, you can play multiple moves. So, if you're ever in a match situation, you can mix up the moves. I played pawn takes and I've played knight f3 in this match. So after pawn takes, queen a5, knight f3, queen takes c5, right? This is all theory. This should be two. And literally, look at my time right now. 
Bishop g4, castles. Look at my time. H3. Look at my time. G4. Look at my time. G5. And she goes 95 after almost a whole minute think, but I'm still in prep. I'm still in prep. I've hit this so many times. I've analyzed more than like more than a hundred of my own Joe Baba games. Think about that. I've analyzed more than a hundred of my own Joe Baba game. And I'm giving y'all some inside scoop right now. Okay. I've analyzed a lot of stuff. So I remember this vividly. This is why I'm blitzing it out because I've seen this so many times. So I mean I'm I'm like up three seconds. We all move eleven right and I'm still in prep. Including blitz, absolutely bar melon chess. Absolutely, because I'm not playing garbo blitz, to be honest. Like I'm playing actually very high level blitz games. Like, yeah, I'm not playing I got some accounts that are like twenty six seventy, twenty seven hundred. I have one account that I won't mention that has been over twenty eight hundred. But I do train. Like I'm training in these accounts, right? You know, training new openings, you get your head cracked. You don't get your head cracked, right? And like you learn though and you analyze the games. It's very important. So Queen takes D five. Queen takes c5, knight takes takes, right? This is still theory, rook d1, trying to bait, but obviously that's not going to happen. And then this is usually where theory stops, right? Because after king e7, that's a newer move here. And now let me actually see, let me put the game review on. Actually, which I should have had that on already. So let me see what this is, because this would be nice. Okay, and see that act there, 87. So did I get any 90s? She, she had a 92 that first game, bro. 92. Okay, can I get it some 90s? I got 87s cute. That's nice. But let me get a 90. Like, let me get a 90, bro. Okay, so we're going to keep looking. Uh, close, right? 87, 9. Castles, okay. A3, G4, G5. It's all correct. Queen takes his best, right? And I remember looking. Knight takes D5, actually, is very tempting. I wonder, is something wrong with here? Oh, she just castles queen side. Interesting. And that's a mistake. Yeah, and you know, Jeffrey was pointing this out. Jeffrey was like, Knight takes D5. I would have definitely considered there, but Cantino did it instantly. And I was thinking to myself, well, I do know that in prep, queen takes d5 is the move, but I definitely never consider knight takes because I remember in prep, queen takes was the move. So um, queen takes is the move because I didn't know. I didn't know why knight takes wasn't. You know, maybe it was a rook d8, but you had knight c7. But castle queen side actually takes out the knight c7 check. So now it actually works, and e6 is now the threat. So it's actually a nasty move. So queen takes d5 does work, which I remember this in prep, e6 being best. Queen takes is the move takes takes so i'm still like i'm up i'm up time i'm up a pawn i'm i'm in prep i'm smooth right knight d2 nice move here i find this on the fly and then i play a knight b3 which is an inaccuracy so let's see what's better retry okay was knight d2 the best though i'm curious knight d2 is best or d1 is good what's the better one oh wait, no, no, no no okay what's the best my guy Oh, Rook F. What's the difference? Bro, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Whatever, bro. Inaccuracy and prep. Exactly, yeah. It has inaccuracy. That's funny. But I guess, I mean, I know a Rook goes to D1. Like, I know this for a fact. So, Rook goes to D1, just chose the wrong Rook, right? Okay. Whatever engine, right? Exactly. Knight B3, Bishop B4, C3, E5. I back up. Boys up. All right? It don't work no more? Okay, cool. We got to get rid of that. Um... Uh, yeah, we gotta get rid of that that link. I'll fix it. Hey, if you're down points, on it, do not don't let the clock run out. No, I mean uh, it's honestly hard to, to know the clock strategy. Sometimes, usually, if you're up, you milk the clock. That's literally the strategy. You're up, milk the clock. That's it. If you're up, milk the clock. That's the strategy. If you're not up, then don't milk the clock. Um, kill g2. I mean, but obviously, still you can play on too. So sometimes it's fatigue. Like sometimes I like to fatigue a player or to see how you convert things and you know see if I can be like I've actually I beat Kostia in the first round actually from some strange like I was I had no business no business at all winning that game, bro. bro it was no business. It was like I mean he literally allowed the discovery and then he hung up. I mean it was just it was just like. I'm sorry. Like, it was literally like, bro, I'm sorry. I wanted to apologize because I was not supposed to win that, bro, but I did. So, you know, like, you don't, you just keep playing on. You just keep playing on. Pawn takes, rook takes, bishop g4, check. I play f3, which is a great move. You like that? That's still exactly. Thank you for the hydrate there. Take some more. Appreciate you. Digital Electron, thanks for the follow. Okay, so e4, this is like force because f5. And maybe not force, I have f4, but 
F5 was coming, G6, I play H4. They didn't like this. So what else? Was it F4? Maybe it was. Now that I look at this. No, I didn't like F5. Oh, but I guess I go back. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, I didn't like that. Okay, what's best? I don't know, bro. Let's do this. Okay, H4, this. I was back up. So what? Bro, what? Yo, you're kidding me. F5? Bro, you're kidding me. Bishop E3. Whoa. Oh, I could have saw that, though. I could have saw that one. I didn't, know. <laughs> I didn't. But I, that's crazy. I couldn't saw F4, and then I back up. Now I get everything I want. But I, I did it. It's a very, very difficult route. Very difficult. Thanks for the shout out. I've watched you on YouTube for a great. Let's go. Yo, shit. Shout out to you, big fellow in here. So g6, h4, f5, bishop h3. I got kind of the same position. Um, yeah, I got kind of the same position, but with the pawn, like all this extra work that was unnecessary. Rook takes, and then I knew I was gonna win this game after check, and then knight c4. I'm like, this is over now. Perfect. I'm gonna level the score. Check. Rook takes. It should be seven check, and I end the game there. And she resigns here after king takes. Oh, that that's like I'm like I, this didn't happen. They said the game could have continued. I'm like Dude, this this did not happen, bro. Like what is this extra PGN? Bishop takes c6, and then uh, she resigned here. So we get the first game. Oh, we get the second game. So it's one one, right? What game is this? Oh, this was singing. It was one one there. Then I lose this one. I lose two in a row, then the draw. Right. So, okay. So, what was this one? Let's see what this one is. This is another one. Like, she kept playing the same thing over and over, which is fine. Like, I'm going to do the same thing, too. But, like, I got annoyed by this. Like, I'm like, ah, oh, C3 Sicilian. Like, I play this, too. Like, I understand how annoying it can be sometimes if you're in the right hands, right? And sometimes, and she's very strong. So, I'm like, ah. Oh. When you got somebody strong playing a C3 Sicilian, it's very annoying. <laughs> Other players, like under players, are like, you know, they're going to mess up in certain areas, but very strong players, like, they know how to annoy you in this opening. This is why I have very good success with the C3 Sicilian, right? Of course, C3 Sicil for the kill, as we call it. I had a lot of good success with this. So, Knight of 3, Knight C6. I go this route, and I remember, what's up, Mac? Click, what's good, bro? There is, uh, I went this route. What I do? Knight takes, I went E6. So, E6. I forgot, and she probably did. She probably did take my court. I forgot that after Bishop E7, she played Queen G4, and I was already mad. I'm like, bro, Bruh. come on, bro. Now I got to make some concessions. Playing this wrong. And this is not even my usual way of playing against the C3 Sicilian. I just wanted to do something different. So I'm already out of prep and, like, not feeling good. King F8. And I just, you know, Queen C7, I was a little clever move. But my King's on F8, and I got to be quick. Thanks, Matt. Quick for the 10 bits, too, bro. H5, I take with the knight. Let me see this game review of again. I keep forgetting that. This is the big part of the game that you really want to spend a lot of time on. It's the game review. <laughs> Who bought my course like four hours before the match? Oh, it was Paulina. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, man. Bro, that's funny. That's funny. So it's an inaccuracy. Interesting. So, I mean, I've seen this move, though. So is it just knight b6? I mean, I've seen this. I've seen d takes e5 in real theory, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, knight b6. All right, whatever. I'm just from Russia. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Simon Chess Twitch? was good. That's too funny, dog. That's too funny. Okay, takes d6. I take. Takes was wrong. Dang. So I, you know what's good about this? I never will play this again. Like, not I would never play this way again. This is why you analyze your games. Like, this is so bad, bro. Like, all of this is just bad. And when you have bad opening, everything else be bad. Jeez, boy. This was just terrible. Yeah, I got smashed here. I had this game and that Scotch Gamer game. And I'm nice with the Scotch Gamer, but that was a different. Like, it was bad. I just went too aggressive. I went over aggressive. <laughs> I was overly aggressive, and that definitely... Oh, yeah, I could have taken that pawn. But, I mean, that was already... This was bad. Yeah, that was a blunder. I could have taken that pawn. But I moved too fast. We both in time trouble. Yeah. Check, check. And she checked me into oblivion, and then she took the pawns, and I tried to, like, 
play a lot and then play and play and like this is a long game look how many moves still going each and then she goes up she's up and then she plays we play another game here and she wins this one which one is this oh this one was crazy let me see the game review on this one you're something oh yeah let me see the game review on this one bro this one is a wild game this one was like i remember seeing this in the stat in the, in the stats in the uh i mean in the chat about like this was a two plus two equals five game like from tau i mean because this was bro this was crazy this was freaking crazy there was some so many tactics here oh this is where i messed up though yeah e4 is a mistake i was moving too fast once again but e4 is a mistake well actually what's the move here though specifically three is an accuracy what what do you like 94 oh is this theory i think this is theory that i forgot i think this is theory i forgot interesting maybe not i have never seen this before i've seen queen a7 though but okay okay interesting okay so i go bishop d3 yeah i just the e4 was just a blunder okay but what was the best move though because i'm go i like this bishop d3 Ooh, a4 i like that so b4 let's go 92 i mean i got to right i don't really like this i don't really like this like this is not what i wanted this is not what I wanted. This is uh, Paulina Shubalova, who I played today in a match, and I won the match. E4, E, yeah, B4 is just winning. 94, Queen, A5, E5, B3. What? That is bananas. I'm not doing none of that. Probably don't wait things for Apollo. Bishop B3 was just not good. B4, yeah, of course. I'm just like throwing pieces now. I'm throwing pieces. Oh man, nice e6. Thanks, Sop. I appreciate it. Okay, four e5. I sack. I'm like just. I'm just all in at this point, bro. I'm like this is looking bad, bro. Bishop takes king d7. Great move. That's the only move. A4. D1. This was bad, boy. I got smashed in this game here at the end. There was no more tactics, yeah. It was bad, bro. King h1. To a3. Hey, you, I moved too quickly. I moved way too quickly out the opening there. We didn't have two. She, she got the brilliant move. Like, <laughs> Boy, when she played that, I was like, bro, this is really bad. Yeah, this was a nasty move, bro. Queen f2 was gross. Oh my goodness, in the stretcher to his address, we got it on file. Sheesh. Hit that man with a move. I play bishop d3 just in hopes that she doesn't take it. And of course she takes it and I resign. Oh, this didn't happen. I resign right here. Sheesh. Bro, and so I'm down two games right here and I'm like, you know what? Right, you know, I'm getting hit. You know, in the, in the movies, right? When you like, you get beat up. Oh, ooh, oh, 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 it's the main character, right? And then I grab my saber and I wipe the blood off my, my face. And I'm like, hmm, take off the robe, right? And then I'm like, all right, let's go. So I swing the saber, right? So we lose two, we lose two, right? So um, then, then we got this one. We got this one. So I'm like, yo, we got to fight back. So this one, I actually, uh, the theme music came on exactly. <laughs> exactly, right? So this is what happened. Broke a dope. Just a little them right. So I play Carol Khan. Switch it up completely. Completely. I know she liked to play exchange. So I, I go exchange route. This is all I prepped. I knew she was going to go this route because she don't play nothing else. So Bishop D6 takes castles. 97 Bishop F5. Right. We go here. We go back here. And then um, uh, what happened? Uh, B5. So the B5 move. Right. So the B5 move is cool because after Bishop takes, we'll go Rook B8 and A6. In many cases. I don't really like playing Carol Khan like that, but it's just, you know, sometimes I'll throw it out there as a surprise. All right. Yeah, this is I am not a GM speed chess tournament. Yeah, Queen C7. And she wants to trade, so I keep going Queen B7, right? And then here, oh yeah, mine looks B5. He did. And then I go A5, trying to trap the queen in here, and she finds a brilliant move, which I saw too as well, though. Oh, the Carol is straight garbage. Uh, garbage. With a C. Garbage. Knight B3. Knight E4, right? And I think, oh, actually, I need to look at the game review again. Let me go back and look at this. Gotta keep remembering to do the game with you. 
You say 72. I was more accurate, but it was worse. I mean, this was a bad game. Like, some stuff was ugly. Sharp, yeah. It's a sharp game. This is all theory. Let's go through this. B5 is a mistake. Bro, get out of here. Don't nobody care. Like, Bruh. literally no one even asks you, bro. A5, but then A4? Okay, what happens on A4? H6, Queen C7. Bro, nobody, nobody's playing A5. No one is playing A5. I promise you, bro. I promise you. Come on, B5. Oh my goodness, yeah. Rig B8. Okay, so we move. A5 is a mistake. A3 was a great move. 94 is a blunder. Yeah, dang, bro. She just got brilliant move after brilliant move. She takes. I mean, I knew that was. It had to be played, though. Like, in fact, I mean, this is like forced. Like, this is not even brilliant. The queen is trapped, bro. Like, you have to sack the queen. Like, you have to sack the rook because the queen is trapped. That's crazy. Queen takes b7, it's queen takes. This is not brilliant. This is like forced. Bishop takes, knight takes, queen a6. Oh, yeah, this is where I blunder. I was like, oh, queen a6, what am I doing? But I think I kind of had to do this anyway. Now that I think about it, yeah, I couldn't. I, I didn't have a move anyway that was going to stop this fork. I thought that I messed up, but in fact, I just didn't. That says something, right? <laughs> Whew. Queen, right. Queen b6. Takes, takes, I'm in trouble. So now here I'm just fighting. And I'm like, well, she's giving me chances. And this is, I kind of start really turning on the calculating here, bro. Yeah, I was definitely hating on it, though. Chocolate Sheet, I was definitely hating on the brilliancy. Because, like, why she get two brilliance like that? Like, I played some good moves, too, bro. Like, dang, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, dang. It's crazy. But, but you know, rook b7, bishop g6, right? So bishop b2. And then I play h5, and I, I started, this is, you know, sometimes, like I say, you really have to warm up, chat. Like, for real, you really have to warm up. That's a real thing. You know, like like with um all athletes, what do they do? Warming up, stretching, all that warm-ups, that's real. That's real, right? So, warm-up-wise, um, I was feeling, this is like fourth game now. I'm like, fourth, fifth game, I'm really warmed up. And I start calculating more. So I'm like, all right, I go bishop b4. I knew she probably play f3, time situation two. Bishop c2, I like that move. And then I'm like, wait a second, hold up. I see some holes in the position, and the queen is off sides. Queen c7, queen f4 is the idea. They like g5. I'm not playing g5. Forget what the engine say. Bruh. So after bishop f1, right, I go queen f4 hitting the rook, which is very nice. And But then rook e2, I think I had bishop d3 or d1, actually. Bishop d1. So that's why she went back. And then g5 is a missed win. I was supposed to play f5, but I did not see that. Uh, f5 threatens g4. Interesting. Interesting. It's for follow up Tay Wave. So play with a bop. So G5. Queen. C5. I go King G6 is a mistake. Rook B8. Ah, and that's the same idea that I missed. That actually, if you read that article. Again, um, Chesscom Live article. And also Aman and I was talking about this. I saw this. I saw that I needed to get my rook here. That's what, that's the whole idea of g5 to king g6 was to do this. But then I'm like, well, I got to go for it. And actually, here is a crucial moment where, like, bro, I spent 10 seconds when I had two minutes. So this is a crucial, like, when you're looking back at your games, this is why you look at your own games and the time, the time, this is stuff that you need to work on. Rook b8, I will find if I have the time. But I play rook h7 because she has three seconds left. All right. And in fact, now I'm losing. As he finds all his moves, start checking me into oblivion. I go bishop e4, which is the best move. Right. Check and check. And oh my goodness. And I'm running for the, I'm blocking with my face right now. And I'm running for the heels. And somehow I'm able to get a perpetual because she can got no time left. Right. So this is a nice swing of things. Kind of stops the bleeding. Right, and she was up two games, and then it was a draw. That was going to be a third. So, then I start swinging back. I'm like, all right, all right, let's go. So, I start swinging back. So, here we go. Let's see the game review. Check the game review. So, this one I had a 92.9. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right, so what was this? This was a Carol Khan. So, I play... Um, 
the pan off Bobinic gear, which is fun to play. So Bishop G5, Knight E5 action, Bishop D3. This is like all stuff I've played before. I've seen this. It's fun to play. It's all zeros. It could be a draw. Play correctly. Bishop takes F6 is great. Back to back great moves. And then she blunders, which is like, oh, you cannot play Queen D5. Queen D5 is a huge blunder because Queen G4. And you literally just drop a piece. So you give the and I'm gonna just have a piece. But this was still hard to convert. This was like man, this was hard, bro. She had all these pawns. She defended so good, bro. Like she defended so well. I'm hey, oh look at this all best move. Like I had a 92%, right? And this was look how hard this is. And I still got a 92%, bro. This was a hard game. King F1 best move. Rook takes a seven was good. But I mean, like, what would be better than taking the free pawn? Like, this is already a hard position. Rook takes. Rook h4, excellent. Best. Rook e4. This was good. This was okay. This was inaccurate. This move doesn't hurt much, but it doesn't help either. Rook e7 is good. Bishop d1, excellent. King e2, inaccuracy. Rook d2, mistake. Probably gonna play a3, maybe check, but no. Rook f5, what did you want? What are you talking about? But then rook f5, so you're tripping. I'm not trying to trade here, you've lost your mind. And now rook d2, yeah. This is why sometimes you don't consult with the engine. You're telling me to go rook d2 and just let this happen? This is gonna be so hard. This is hard, bro. This ain't. You, get, you know what? One time for the engine, like Garbage. one time, bro. Garbage. For the people in the back, Garbage. bro. Get this man out of here. Like I'm, nobody's doing that. Nobody's doing that. Like one time for the engine, bro. Rig D two, Rig B eight, or Rig G one. So I check. This is wrong. Okay. Ain't nobody trying to trade that. Like you've lost your mind. Like that white black's gonna be totally fine then. Like no, I have to keep the rooks on. You have lost it. Engine be tripping sometimes. So I go around the back way here. And I get this, finally get this off here. And and I, I saw this. You know what? Calculation is everything, right? COE. We always mention that. COE. Right now, we do have 50% off if you use winners. Code winners. Because we won. Winners. 15% off. Canty Merch. Right? ShopCantyMerch.com. Right? Yeah, we here. And we play this game. And with this, I saw this. I saw this, guys. I calculated this. But she didn't have enough time. But I also saw winners. Winners, bro. Winners. Bro. Yes. W-I-N-N. -N. So King E3 though. King E3. King E3. I saw that she could go King G5, which is the best move, and I didn't know how to get out. I was like, uh, oh, that's sweet. It's F4, and then I saw opposite, and then H4. I didn't see this. This is what I didn't see. This is what I didn't see. This is why I didn't. Why does that matter? Because it matters because um I saw I saw F4. And then taking, but then I'm in trouble after check, right? And I have to like run around. I'm losing the bishop. I mean, this was crazy. This was absolutely nuts stuff. And but I also saw after king g5, if I go h4, king takes, I was like, does king here work? But then this doesn't work because rook f2. I was trying to be clever. And I'm like, okay, well, what about king takes, rook takes, and then rook check, but then king f2 and takes. And I'm like, bro, who is winning? Like, what is going on? Right? This is a nuts position. Right, but I remember calculating all of this, but she gave it to me after check, king f4, spink, and I go king g3, and I know I got her in a mating net. With rook takes, bishop h5, I got h4 in there. You're definitely, I'm definitely mating here, right? So, this was nice. This was very, very nice. Um, very, very nice. Let me ban this real quick. Okay, so, after uh, rook takes a2, rook takes, check, and bishop h5, threatening mate. Ready, mate. Check. I step. And I, I don't even take the rook because it was made on uh, e, e8. And your boy strikes back. Let's go. We strike back. Right. So now the game is in. We, we, we are within one game. Right. Within one game. And then here we go. Boom. Here's the next one. Game review. Let me review that real, real quick. Okay. I was more active with this game. We got another Alapin. Uh, oh, nice c6 is wrong. Okay, so this is d7, so nice c6 is wrong. 
Okay, but nice C3. Bro, show the line. Like, what are you talking about? Bro, like, you know what? Oh, my bros. Garbage. Stop. What are you tripping? Sheesh. Anyone clip Canty flexing right after he won? <laughs> oh, man. I was so high, bro. Oh, man. I was hype. Yo, this is garbage. Nobody playing this. No one's playing this. Okay, let's keep moving. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What is that? E6, 97. Mr. G5, H6. That's wrong, huh? This game was nice, though. I did like this. F6, takes, takes. G5? Is a miss win. Oh, was it just knight h4 immediately? Oh, it was. But I mean, I saw this, but they, I saw. I thought that it was like, there's some weird stuff. So I went g5 first, then knight h4. Yeah, takes, takes, e8. And this works. Yeah, this worked out for us in the end. Boom. And we got the win there, chat. We got the win there. Um, and of course, that game makes us even. Now, we could keep going, but um, this is already like 46 minutes for YouTube. So, look, we bought to, uh, we won the match. We'll, we'll cover more games at another time, but we're not about to go past this because that's a lot of games, a lot of time. Um, but we, we evened the match up there. We got some games in, and we actually won the match chat. So, shout out to everybody watching. Shout out to you. Shout out for everybody and all the support. And uh, everybody that came out and saw everything, guys, we won. We won the match, and we're moving on. And we're going to go back to this bracket right here. Okay, the bracket says, yeah, I am not a GM speech as championship here. Um, I went, I won against Kelsey. It looks like 13 is the number for me. Like, 13 and a half, 13, right? And now I got to face Lawrence Trent on Friday. So let's go. Hopefully you guys uh, are enjoy that and ready for that. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube. I'll see you on the next one.